So if I adjusted this to be like, make a task called X in Notion and then have the content say, please QA the video, it would be more specific. You like automating stuff? I do. I do it so much that it's annoying. And what I mean by that is that it's annoying how often I think of ideas and then say, I want to act on this thing. Why can't I, I don't have the time. I can actually work. I can't just automate everything. But I can automate nearly everything now that Zapier has this brand new feature that really hasn't been talked about a lot. So I want to dive into it and showcase to you how you will utilize this and it will save you loads of time when editing or creating your automations. So if you go inside of your Zapier account and press create a new zap, you'll see that there is a feature at the top now that is in beta called, I don't know, Powered by AI, Zapier Automations, it didn't really have a name. And essentially what this can do is create automations for you rather than you needing to make all of these happen regarding the triggers and the actions. So what I would say is I would write out what you're thinking of in this format. When X happens, do Y, then do Z. And then honestly, limiting it by a few of them is pretty you know, silly. So I'm gonna do like a three leveled one. I'm gonna type when X happens in X product, then Y happens in Y product. So basically what you're gonna do is utilize this functionality to the best of your ability. And I wanted to add some more syntax for you. So for example, when a new asset is uploaded in frame.io, which is my video editing QA software. So when a new asset is uploaded in frame.io, so I put when X happens in X product, then Y happens in Y product. And I can keep pasting this at the end before I do a new one with a comma in between to make it easier to digest. So when a new asset is uploaded in frame, then a Slack message is sent to my team, okay? Then another thing, all right, so then I would say a Google Drive, a file is uploaded to my Google Drive from frame.io. Then a task is created in my Notion account. So I press generate, it's gonna then give me a framework for what I need to do in order for this automation to happen. So check this out, this is really cool. When a new asset is in frame, it then would send a channel message to Slack and then create an asset in frame.io and then create a database item. Now, personally, I think it did miss the boat here a little bit. So let's try to rephrase this part right here. Then a Slack message is sent to my team. Then a file is downloaded to my Google Drive from the new asset in frame. Yeah, I think that would be probably best. And if I do try again to make it more specific, we'll see how this works. Okay, cool, check it out. So now it's gonna say new asset, in frame, send the message, create asset, upload the file to Google Drive, cool. Let's try it out. So new assets in frame.io, I can pick my account and go through the whole process now. Continue, pick my team, go through this whole process. And sure, I can test my trigger. There's a myriad of different ones in here. It'll pop up at some point. We can then send a Slack message by just adding my account. And I could notice here that it has a message automatically put in there. So this name and ID are actually gonna be grabbed from the original frame.io trigger. This is pulling it from there. Now there is sometimes a bit of a bug with frame specifically. So imagine that these were automatically actually correct. I'm not really sure what the problem is with frame and Zapier, but it's a great example. So I wanted to use it. Then I can pick my channel, like the general channel, and then go through. You can see if I test it right now, it has the asset name and ID put in there. And then once again, all I gotta do is follow the path and in here, it did take a asset and go too far on the creating scale. So I'm just gonna remove these two, but then I can do upload file in Google Drive. And I can just grab the file from this inside of frame. So I can do like original file, which is right here. So if I grab this guy, I'm just gonna put it in my drive as an example. And I press test step. It's gonna take a second since it's a video file. And anytime you're working with Google Drive, there's always like a link. So we can go to our alternative link and check it out. Look at this. It did in fact take this, and if I downloaded it, it would show the video. It's just processing currently in my Google Drive. So I can check it out right here in my Google Drive for desktop. And check it out, it downloaded it perfectly. Look at this dude talking about, talking to his phone, what a weirdo. So it worked pretty seamlessly, okay? And then from there, I can create a database item in Notion. So I'd go and find this account, find a different task list to add it to, uh, I also wasn't very specific on what the task should say. So if I adjusted this to be like, make a task called X in Notion and then 
have the content say, please QA the video, it would be more specific. For example, just going through this process was pretty easy. I essentially made an automation in the time I've been recording this video very quickly. It took no time whatsoever to build out this entire workflow basically type something in and we're good. But you can go any deeper that you want inside of this, right? I can go into a new example once again, and I'm just gonna make it shorter for this and say, when a new frame.io asset is uploaded, take the frame.io asset name and ID and send a message in Slack requesting for my video leads team to QA it. Video QA team is a Slack group with the substring as follows. So then I could put sub team, go to my video leads, copy the group ID, put it in there, give it the context, and it'll actually do more stuff than just say, here's a message, <laughs> right? So if I press try this, go to my account, do a little test trigger with my frame.io. Now, when I do finish this, it doesn't actually do the substring, which is fine. I guess I went a little too hard, but it does in fact tell me to notify the video leads team to QA the uploaded asset and frame. So it does directionally go where you want it to. And that's kind of the point, right? Typing out an idea that you had and then having it build out some of the steps rather than you having to clicky clack, you can just type. If you're interested in any more cool automation tutorials or even want to see how this can help impact your business or have a complex piece of content that you want to see talked about, check out our content services. If you go to riceproductive.com slash content services, we do a full service of video editing, social media management, having me on camera to do videos for you. Whatever your needs are, check it out there. And we're happy to help. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and check out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using tools, just like this one right here.